The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Tokyo, Japan. And approaching the ring from Miami, Florida, weighing in at 265 pounds, the you know, sometimes a superstar just has that look in his eye. And this is one of those times. Which one of these two will walk away with the win? We'll find out as this one gets underway in mere moments. You can feel the electricity running through this arena. This is going to be some battle, one-on-one, -on -one, mano a mano. They're struggling for control right now. Oh, uh, struggle is right, Cole. This is really back and forth. Perfectly executed. Working for control. So what do you think about The Rock? Here's somebody who's willing to do just about anything to get to the top. I like it. That's the way it should be. Into the headlock. Ooh, the elbow lands. And it's The Rock with the reversal. Now, I know The Rock's WrestleMania moments are so popular, but a pay-per-view I like to think back on is the 2000 Royal Rumble. The Brahma Bull guaranteed victory, and funny enough, he won the match in the same arena he debuted in. That was another night where we all smelled what The Rock was cooking. Oh, the Rock is building some well-deserved momentum right now. The shoulders are down. And he escapes with a kick out. That's got to hurt. Well, King, if you're reminiscing with our own rock-inspired pay-per-view moments like you did before, then I'm going with 2001's Unforgiven. That was when the great one beat Booker T and Shane McMahon to retain the WCW Championship. There he goes again. And again. And again. And again. Today, too fast. He took an incredible pounding there. When he gets going like this, there are a few better. My God, his body's been through hell and his ribs. Great reversal. We're looking at complete domination here. Our conversation about The Rock has taken me back to WrestleMania 20 when The Rock and Sock Connection reunited to take on Nature Boy Ric Flair, Randy Orton, and Batista, then known as Three Quarters of Evolution. Man, we're real... Figure four leg lock. Oh, man, Cole, let me tell you how bad that hurts. Just a dominating display. Yeah, I think we could see a lot of punishment inflicted here. Not a lot of spring left in this step right now. I have a strong feeling that these guys will throw caution to the wind and just go full steam ahead. I hope you're right. That's exactly what I want to see. Rock's in trouble. It won't take long for the aggression to escalate quickly in this one. You're right, Cole. These two don't like each other, and we're going to find out how much they really do dislike each other in this match. Uh, looking at the rock in that ring reminds you pretty darn fast about what he's bringing to a fight. Power, speed, toughness, tons of trash talk, and the people. You can't forget about the people. He is the people. That's it. He's done.
Here we see it one more time. Yeah, I don't know if I can believe what I saw the first time. It's an amazing atmosphere in this arena tonight. Oh, you're right. Big fight feel here, no doubt. Well, that missed him all right. Hey, did you look before firing? What an idiot. Well, King, if you're reminiscing with our own rock-inspired pay-per-view moments like you did before, then I'm going with 2001's Unforgiven. That was when the great one beat Booker T and Shane McMahon to retain the WCW Championship. And he's heading back in. I can't blame him. Nothing good is going to happen out here on the floor. We're looking at complete domination here. He's pulling a reversal. Look at this. Could it be? He's really squeezing tight on that figure four. Look at him trying to use all the strength and power he can... And there's the release. What's going to happen now? I'm scared to ask. That'll take you out of the moment. Just look at this. You can see the results from that move. Oh, they're taking a risk. Wow! It doesn't get much better than that right there. Here's the cover. There's going to be a lot of offense in this match. Wouldn't have it any other way. That's what I love to see. Going top rope once more. They love it up there. Look out! Oops! You have to possess a different type of focus to punish an opponent like this. Yeah, you really have to enjoy hurting someone. Good grief! How is he still conscious? And here's the people's champ. The Rock is feeding off the electricity from the sellout crowd and laying the smack down in there. Whoa! Don't get up! A nice shot by The Rock. Oh, wait! Nice reversal! The Rock works, and there are the ropes. And there's an extremely destructive strike. And there's a bone-crunching drop. Look at him, Michael. I mean, those moves have really started to add up. And he's toast. Quick thinking to avoid that. When his strikes land, you can feel it in the first few rows. He's delivering an old-fashioned butt-kicking right here. This guy's shoulders down. When you talk about icons in this business, when you talk about moments frozen in time, it is hard to choose just one from The Rock's amazing resume. But when I think back to April 1st, 2000... What? The sharpshooter! Rock's got him in the sharpshooter! What diabolical things are going through that mind right now? When you get in control like this, you want to throw everything at your opponent. And that could be what we're seeing here. This might not end well. Well, thanks for coming. Uh-oh, there's the finisher. This might be over, and I mean all over. The shoulders are down. What a tremendous victory. Let's take a look back at what exactly happened during this one. I can't believe what we just saw. Highlight after highlight.
And here's just some of the action we saw during the match. I can't believe what we saw during this one. Here's your winner, The Rock! Another win on the resume. You know, I don't recall ever actually being pinned, but you would have to think it's pretty humiliating. Wow, now that match was a treat. Thank you, everybody, for joining us on this Halloween evening.